so the procedure i explained you in the previous video was very lengthy and in the actual exam scenario if you want to if you will if you are going to follow the same procedure then you will take a lot of time to solve the problems so in this video i'm just going to uh, solve some simple problems some examples uh, example problems related to huffman codes and then uh, we will see uh, what is the minimum number of you know uh, what is the minimum length or you can say uh, we will see the min uh, the huffman code will uh, give the codes and and we will try to take the less amount of time as compared to that okay so we'll take some examples so this is the first example and uh, this is the data which is given okay so the data is we have a e i o u s and t these are the data which is given and their occurrences these are the symbols and this its occurrences the occurrences are 10 15 12 uh 3 4 13 and 1 so the best way to do this first of all you can sort these symbols on a non decreasing order okay you can make something like this this is the set of symbols we have a 10 E fifteen, I twelve, O three, U four, S thirteen, and T one. So take the two symbols which is having the minimum weight out of this this complete data. Take the two symbols which is having the minimum weight. So we have T is having the minimum weight, and the second symbol is O which is having the minimum weight. So you can add T in the left. So make a node like this. you add t in the left so we get t comma 1 and you add o in the right so o comma 3 then you add their frequency so 1 plus 3 is 4 1 plus 3 is 4 now you remove this replace this symbol and you add 4 t comma o onto this complete set so you can make it like this now this set will look something like this we have a 10 e 15 i 12 u 4 s 13 and the new symbols we which we added in the previous case was t o the total symbol was the total uh, weight was 4 now again take the next two minimum symbols either you can take this one or you can take this one because in both the cases the frequency is 4 you can add any one of them on the left and the other one on the right Okay, so assuming I'm adding U on the left, so we get something like this. Uh, this is the new node which we allocated. Let me make it better. So this is the new node which we allocated. Here on the left, we are going to add the node which is U comma four. On the right, we we have to add T O and T O is representing this complete structure. So on the right, we'll be having this structure. Okay, so here we have t, comma one, and here we have o, comma three. So their frequencies were was four. Four plus four is eight. So this eight is representing u, t, and o. These three symbols. Now you can add this u, t, and o in this complete set. So you can get this complete set will look something like this. We have a as ten, e as fifteen, we have i as twelve, we have s. As thirteen, and now we have this new symbol U, T, and O. Total frequency is eight. Now from this complete data, again extract the two minimum, right? So uh, let me draw it here. So again extract the two minimum. So this is the root node. So the first minimum value here is representing U T O, which is eight. Okay. So here we have to add this complete structure of U T O. we have this is 8 on left on left we have u comma 4 on right we have 4 and left we have 2 comma 1 t comma 1 on the right we have o comma 3 
and the next minimum here is represented by the symbol i so you can see the this symbol i sorry symbol uh, a is representing the next minimum because the next minimum value is 10 so you add a on to the right a comma 10 so total frequency is 10 plus a 10 plus 8 which is 18 and this 18 is representing u t o and a these four symbols so again you add these four symbols onto this set so we can get u t o a and the total frequency is 8 now other symbols are e 15 i 12 s 13 again take the next two minimum here the next two minimum are i and s these two are the next two minimum so again take a new node we get a new node like this on left we add i comma 12 on right we get s comma 13 so the total will be 12 plus 13 is 25 and then we'll add 25 onto this set so if you add 25 onto this set you get u t o a 18 e 15 and is 25 again the, take the next two minimum so if you take the next two minimum here the next two minimums are u t o a and e so e is a minimum value so allocate a node like this on the left you add e 15 on the right we are going to add u t o a and this complete structure is representing u t o a so on the right we get something like this this is 18 now we have sorry we have 8 on the left of 8 we get u comma 4 on the right of 8 we get 4 left of 4 is t comma 1 the right of 4 is o comma 3 on the right of 18 we get a comma 10 so the total of 15 plus 8 is 31 now you insert 31 onto this so we get this set the set is representing u t o a e 31 and i s 25 now you can you can make a you know, tree for these structures so i don't have enough space let me uh, rub some values so here i'm rubbing it this one right So after rubbing this one, we can make the structure, L uh, extract the minimum value, the minimum value is represented by IS which is 25. So we can use the structure of represented by IS here. So that is, this is representing 25 and on the left of 25, we have I, 12. On the right of 25, we get S is equal to 13. Now, now uh, next site is represented by U T O A, U T O A E. So this complete structure is representing U T O A E. So we have to draw this complete structure on the right side. So we get like this. This is 31. On the left of 31, we get E, comma 15. On the right of 31, we get 18. This is representing 18. On the left of 18, we get this structure. See, I'm just drawing this one. So we get u comma 4. On the right of 8, we get this structure where we have t comma 1. On the right of this is o comma 3. And here we get a comma now this is the final tree which we are getting and which is representing the total of 56 okay now if you check this tree you can find out the Huffman code out of this now how will you do how will you find out the Huffman code to every edge for example we have a left edge and a right edge either you can assign 0 to left edges and 1 to right edges or 1 to left edges and 0 to right edges but you have to do it consistently for every node for example here I'm doing 0 to the left edge so 0 0 again 0 0 0 0 and we are assigning 1 to the right edge so it is 1 1 1 1 1 and 1 now let us see what is the code which you are using to represent these numbers 
if you want to represent i then you can represent i by 0 0 so it is 0 0 if you want to represent s then s can be represented by 0 1 so you can just you have just have to follow the path if you want to represent e e can be represented by 1 0 if you want to represent u u can be represented by 1 1 0 0 if you want to represent a a can be represented by 1 1 1 if you want to represent t t can be represented by 1 1 0 1 0 and o can be represented by 1 1 0 1 1 so just have to follow this complete path to see how this this is representing of the root now you can see if we are using huffman code now i is appearing 12 times in this complete code for i we are using 2 bit code so i we are using 2 bit code for s we are using 2 bit code for e we are using 2 bit code for u we are using 4 bit code for a we are using 3 bit code for t we are using 5 bit code and for o we are using 5 bit code now if you check the total of this so it is 10 into 3 10 into 3 is 30 plus 15 into 2 is 30 plus 12 into 2 is 24 plus 3 into 5 is 15 plus 4 into 4 is 16 plus 13 into 2 is 26 plus 1 into 5 is 5 so the total will become 30 plus 30 is 60 60 plus uh, uh, this is 24 is 84 84 plus 31 is uh, make it like this this is 31 this is 31 31 plus 31 is 62 and this is 84 and if you do 84 plus 62 this will become 6 and this will become 14 so it is 146 that means you are only requiring 140 you only require 146 bits to represent this whole message now individually you could have used 3 bits or you could have used 4 bits to represent the whole message but we can represent the whole message just by using 146 bits okay so let me take one more example of Huffman code 